Hi there and welcome back to my channel and today's video is how to make flapjacks. So this is a requested video, um, people have asked me, I think I mentioned previously on a grocery haul um, about making flapjacks and somebody said they wanted me to make this video. So yeah, I thought I'd just do a quick video just showing um, how we make flapjacks. So it's like a really, really simple, easy recipe to do. So if you're looking for something that's really easy and simple to do with the kids, like a really simple kids baking idea, this is definitely it. There's hardly any ingredients you need and it is so quick and easy. And you know, it, definitely if you've got young kids who kind of don't have the attention span for like lots of baking and you just sort of want something really, really simple, then definitely this is a good one. So the ingredients that you're gonna need and the equipment that you're gonna need. So first of all, you're gonna need a mixer. This is my mixer. Mine is just a Kenwood one. And you're also going to need some measuring scales and then uh, you'll also need a tray to put in the oven to, for your flapjack as well so that's my tray and then the ingredients that you're going to need these are all of the ingredients that you're going to need so you will need 250 grams of porridge oats I just buy like the cheap porridge oats, but obviously if you prefer, you can buy like, you know, more quality ones like Scots or whatever, you know, whatever brand you want to do. But yeah, I just buy the cheap ones for this because I feel like for flapjacks, you don't need anything like expensive. So yeah, 250 grams of porridge oats. You're also going to need 125 grams of baking butter. So I've got this stalk one, which I use all the time for like making cakes and everything. So I just buy like a really big one and just have it in the fridge. So I've just got it for all baking. Um, so yeah, 125 grams of that. And then you're going to need, now with the sugar, it's up to you how you want to do it. Um, obviously it depends on, like I tend to make these with the kids, so I keep the sugar quite low, but obviously, you know, it does make it taste sweeter if you use more sugar, so it's up to you. Um, so I would say if you kind of want it to still taste quite sweet, then I would probably go for about 100 grams of sugar. Um, I'm going to be doing 70 grams of sugar today because I'm making these with the kids and I don't want them to have too much sugar. So I'm going to be doing um, 70 grams of sugar today. But yeah, if you want them to be a little bit sweeter, I'd probably go for 100 grams of sugar. And then the last thing that you're going to need is some golden syrup. You'll need about three tablespoons of golden syrup. Um, I tend to just eyeball it to be honest, I just tend to kind of like squeeze it in. Um, but yeah, it's roughly about three tablespoons of golden syrup that you will need. And obviously, as you can see, I've just bought like a Tesco and brand one. So yeah, it's all kind of kind of cheap, simple ingredients that you need. Um, and that is everything that you're going to need to make the flapjacks. And obviously, you'll need your oven to bake them in. And we're going to be put it. So the first thing we're going to be doing is preheating our oven to uh, well mine's a fan assisted oven so i'll be preheating mine to 180 degrees um, in a fan assisted oven so yeah first thing is preheat the oven and then i will we will start to measure out the ingredients so the first thing we're going to be measuring out is the porridge oats and as i say we're going to need 250 grams of porridge oats so i'm going to measure those out and i'm going to be adding them into the mixing bowl so i'll do that and i'll come back to you Okay, so I have measured out my porridge oats and I've just added them into my mixing bowl. Now I've just measured out my um, butter, margarine, and I'm just melting it in the pan till it goes like this, basically, where it's just melting. It doesn't need to be completely melted, but I find it mixes so much better if I melt it before I add it to the mixture. I find if I take it straight out the fridge and I add it to the mixture, from the fridge it just doesn't mix as well so I always, this is just what I always do so yeah I always melt mine so yeah I've just melted it in the pan and now I'm just going to add this to my porridge oats okay so I've just measured out my sugar my brown sugar and I have just added that into my mixing bowl so now I'm going to mix that up Okay, so now I've just added my golden syrup to the mixture and then I'm just going to pop the mixture back on again. Okay, 
Okay, so that is the mixture finished. So this is what the finished mixture looks like. So now I'm basically just gonna spoon all of this out into my tray. So I will show you it when I've put it in my tray. Okay, so I've literally put all the mixture into the tin now, and now we're just flattening it down just to make sure it's all like flat on the top. So Sienna's just doing that for me now. Um, the oven's preheated, um, so we're just gonna pop it in the oven now for 15 minutes. So we will let it cook in the oven for 15 minutes, and then I'll show you it when it comes out the oven. Okay, so I've just got the flapjack out of the oven and this is what it looks like. So basically I'm just gonna leave this to cool for about 10, 20 minutes and then um, I'll cut it into slices. But yeah, that is the finished flapjack. So that is how quick and easy it is to make it. It's such a quick and easy recipe to do. It's definitely a really good one to do, it, like I say, if you've got like young kids or something. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up for me. And if you're not already, I would love you to subscribe to my channel. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Thanks then, bye.